Okay, guys, um, what I'm going to do is we're just looking at the daily records here um, and some of the headlines. This particular headline is Nicola Sturgeon defends permanent secretary over handling of Alex Salmond harassment case. And there's uh, Alex Salmond and he's outside the court of session in Edinburgh and he's making a statement. We'll get onto that in a minute or two. Um, I'll just come down here. I'll just notice the Nacho Nova there. She's an absolute darling, Nacho. I don't know how you could leave her. Right, we'll leave you for a second, Alex, right? Now let's have a wee look at Nicola. Right, there's Nicola. Now I like Nicola. She's she's done brilliant. She's no perfect, because nobody's perfect, right? I don't agree with everything she's done or what she's doing, but, you know, compared to the rest of them, she's amazing. Anyway, so, you know, she's going to get caught up in something here. And what it says there is the First Minister Nicola Sturgeon has defended the Permanent Secretary. Now, who's that? These people don't know who that is. Now, that's the Permanent Secretary there. You know, and a lot of people still don't know who that is. So, let's take a wee gander at who that is. There she's there. Leslie Evans. So Leslie Evans is the permanent secretary to the Scottish Government and, and in this role Evans is the principal policy advisor to the First Minister and secretary to the Scottish Cabinet. That's a big job, right? So if we come down here, we'll take a wee look at what's been going on. Um, she made a statement recently, well it was August uh, 2018 and this is um, surrounding this Alex Salmond scenario. Now, in this statement, basically what she's saying is that in last November I agreed with the First Minister that in light of okay, right, in light of wider concerns about harassment in Westminster and the Scottish Parliament, an internal review would be carried out into the Scottish Government's procedures for handling complaints in the workplace. As part of that review, a new procedure on handling harassment complaints involving current or former ministers was introduced. Now that's, that's all very well, Leslie. Right? You know, and we've got to rely on that to be uh, unbiased and transparent. All right? Now, we can't take anything away from the people that have made some complaints against Alex Salmond. That will be dealt with, you know, um, and we'll see what the police do. But there's two aspects to this. There's the way that the allegations have been brought forward um, towards a certain uh, MP and member of the Scottish Nationalist Party as well as part of the government. And you were responsible for that, Leslie, weren't you? Weren't you? And he's ended up in the court of session today. And the court of session um, is a very, very expensive place to be arguing. Now, that should have been done in an office somewhere. You know, people should be sitting down and talking, but they didn't. So this is the result. This is, the, this is what actually happens when people don't talk. I'm thinking on three things. The last time I was in that court, it was to be sworn in as First Minister of Scotland. I never thought it possible that at any point I'd be taking the Scottish Government to court. And therefore, while I'm glad about the victory which has been achieved today, I'm sad that it was necessary to take this action. The consequences uh, are very clear. Because the process has been agreed as unlawful, as unfair and tainted by apparent bias, then the Scottish Government have had to concede on the case and on the expenses to the maximum extent. The Government... Now, I'll just stop there for a second. Now, what he's meaning there is, is the court of session, the that the court of session, the government, as the Scottish government, through and via Leslie, Leslie Evans, has conceded 
um, the proceedings. It's over. So there's paying costs. Now, I'm not sure whether you're aware, but ordinary lawyers don't even get to speak in that building, in those courts. That's Queen's Council territory, and they rake it in, right? Thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds. Now, they'll be paying, we will be paying the costs of that, you know? So, let's carry on, Alex. Accepted institutional responsibility. Not personal, but institutional responsibility. And therefore I suggest that the Permanent Secretary for the Scottish Government now accepts that responsibility and considers her position. I'm obviously glad, delighted by the result today. The Government have made an abject surrender in terms of the case before we even got to the first day of hearings before Lord Pentland. I'm just sad that it was necessary to take this action in this court of session to prove that point. Back in August, when I made my last comments on these matters, uh, I said that the process that was used against me was uh, unfair, unlawful, and biased by, tainted by bias. I also said that I was not guilty of any criminality. The first of these has been established, the second is to come. But a former First Minister of Scotland requiring to take the administration of the Scottish Government to court to establish that point should not have been necessary. And the person who is responsible for that, that institutional failure, the Permanent Secretary to the Scottish Government, should consider... Alright, we're going to leave it there. Um, so that's that. Uh, Leslie Evans really, really should be looking at getting her coat and her, her handbag and um, moving into an office down the corridor somewhere out the road. And uh, Nicola, you should be thinking about maybe a reshuffle with regard to that particular position. Anyway, that's all for now, boys. Peace out.